Hey there, in this video, we're gonna be assembling the Standesk Simple Frame. So all of your hardware is gonna have its own little pocket labeled by the type of screw. Also, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, which is not included. You can also use a hand drill for faster assembly or to pre-drill holes into the top. Now, let's get familiar with all the pieces. You should have one leg with motor, one leg without motor, one front slat, one back slat, one drive shaft and outer rod, two support braces, two feet, two stabilizing foot plates, one control box, one handset, one data cord, and one power cord. The optional upgrades include one cable management tray and one crossbar. First, grab your desk leg with motor. Before you get started, you must push the rod through the leg with the tool provided and use both your hands. This is really important, so make sure to do this first. If you got your desk from the very first batch, you may not have the sticker system. But if you don't have the stickers, don't worry. The assembly process is just the same. But if you do have the stickers, you want each part with the matching stickers to match up perfectly like the stickers are kissing. We suggest you build your frame upside down so you're working on the underside of the top. We'll start our assembly at the front of the desktop. You'll know it's the front because it's the side you'll be standing at when you're using your desk. Or if you're using one of our stand desktops, the front is the side with the logo. Now let's position the legs so that the end with the motor is touching the desktop. Make sure the motor is facing towards the front of your desk and position the other leg to match on the other side. Now attach the support braces to each leg. Make sure the flat side is touching the desktop and the large hole in the support braces match up with the large hole in the legs. Attach the support braces using four M6 by 12 bolts. Pro tip, if you're using a stand desktop, place the support braces on the desk so they line up with the pre-drilled holes. This makes it easier to determine what length the middle slats need to be. Now let's grab both middle slats. Loosen but don't remove any pre-installed bolts in both slats. After you've loosened the bolts, place the back metal slat on the back of each leg. If you have the stickers, make sure their color and shape match up. You can adjust the width of the metal slats by pulling each end away from each other. And if there's any tension, you can loosen the bolts a little more. Once it's at a width where it can line up to the holes on each leg, now you're ready to attach it. You're gonna use the four longest M6 by 55 bolts to do this. Now take the front middle slat and put that on the front side of the legs. Be sure the thin end of the slat slides under the motor but on top of the ledge. Again, if you have stickers, make sure they line up. Now attach this using two M6 by 16 bolts. Attach the opposite end with two M6 by 25 bolts. Now that everything's attached to the legs, go back and lightly tighten those bolts you loosened before. Now this part is optional, but I highly recommend it. After the middle slats have been installed, we're gonna tip the desk forward so it sits at an angle. This makes it much easier to install the drive shaft. Just be careful not to scratch your top when tipping the desk. Now remove the drive shaft from the outer rod. Gently thread the drive shaft through the gearbox. Use two fingers to align and don't force it. As soon as the rod is visible through the leg, slide the outer rod over the drive shaft and be sure to push the drive shaft all the way through until it stops. Then slide the outer rod over the motor rod and be sure to leave some room between the motor and the drive shaft. Just about a centimeter is fine. Now secure the outer rod to the motor rod using two small M5 by five bolts. After the drive shaft has been properly installed, tip the desk back to its original position. Again, be careful not to scratch the desktop while you're tipping. Now place your stabilizing foot plates in between the leg and the foot. Then add the feet. Align the holes so that you can easily insert four M6 by 16 bolts into each foot. Once all the bolts are aligned, then fully tighten them. Pro tip, screw the bolts into the legs in a diagonal pattern to avoid alignment issues. If you've purchased the optional cable management tray, Attach that to the back metal slat using four M6 by 12 bolts and washers. If you've purchased the optional crossbar, now you're gonna attach that to the holes on the back of the legs. Do this with four M6 by 25 bolts and make sure the bolt holes in the middle of the crossbar are facing up. 
You might have to loosen these to adjust the width so they match up to the holes on each leg. Now we're gonna attach the frame to the top. Use the ST 4.8 by 19 screws for this. If your top does not have pre-drilled holes, you can use a drill or a power tool to attach your top. We'll show you how to do this in a separate video. Now use two of those same screws to attach the control box to the middle of the top. The control box can also sit in the cable management tray if you bought one of those. To attach the handset to the top, use two ST 3.5 by 19 screws. Now just connect the cords from the control box to the handset and the leg with motor. Finally, attach the remaining M5 by five bolts to the drive shaft. Now, if you haven't already, remember to go back and tighten all the bolts. This is the part where you might need a friend to help. Carefully flip the desk over onto the feet and plug the desk into an outlet, but be sure to leave room for the cords when the desk is raised. To initialize your desk, simply press the down arrow for 15 to 30 seconds. This will make your desk go to its lowest position. Once the desk stops, you're ready to get standing. 